I mean, we can all admit being in real estate is a tough business, especially, you know, we get paid or you get paid based on the performance and the results that you deliver. And normally if people don't quite know who you are or people don't quite know what it is that you're offering, it's going to be difficult for you to provide a service. My name is Prosper Tarowinga and I'm a digital marketing expert and I work especially with real estate agents. You know, I'm not in the field of real estate, but I am a human and I know how other humans um, react and act when it comes to purchasing a property and also, um, you know, making a decision to, to buy a house or sell a house or invest in one. So I can imagine that every single day that you go out there as a real estate um, marketer or as a real estate agent, your primary responsibility basically is to create that perception of maybe luxury or you know, comfort within a home. And then that becomes the reality and the expectation of the actual potential buyer. So creating luxury is not easy. Um, it's just the way that, you know, if somebody is wearing a Rolex, to them, that is not a watch. It represents something to them. It represents luxury. It represents status. So you need to be able to communicate that to potential buyers or potential investors or people that are going to be leasing properties that you're going to be, um, you know, selling there. So it really requires effective marketing strategies that, um, you know, they, that draw that affluent home buyer or that investor. All right. So that actually means, um, you know, your potential customer contact first from online uh, listing, the advertising, the, the, the flyers that you sent to them, the brochures that you sent to them, whatever direct mail that you sent to them. It's already communicating that story, that luxury story that is aimed to actually entice, um, you know, the property buyer, depending on what area you're going to be selling that property to. So basically, uh, you might be asking yourself, you know, the secret is not, um, it's not more about the marketing. It's more about the effective marketing. Are you speaking to the right kind of person with the right kind of pain who needs the product that you have um, that you're going to be putting out on the market there? So let's say you're selling a million dollar house and it's a slow, you know, it's a slow market. You don't necessarily need more marketing or more advertising, but you need more effective marketing and advertising. You need to speak to the right people that would make the right decisions. You know what I mean? And um, I've got a few res research, um, you know, based ideas that would actually help you as a real estate agent to sell more either million dollar houses in a luxury housing market or just a normal house. Um, you know, if, if, especially if the market has probably gone cold on you. First of all, you can actually name drop. Um, if people are buying a property, um, especially in a luxury um, environment, they have a cultural currency that they already, um, you know, anticipate. They want to keep up with the Joneses. So, you know, they always talk about the quality and the value that they are receiving within that uh, particular property that they're going to be purchasing. So you as a real estate marketer, you should take a full you know, inventory of the brands that are reflected within that property, not just the appliances, but, you know, the features, uh, maybe the local name, uh, brand architect, the designers, the contractors, you know, that are reflected within the property that you're selling there. Luxury brands in the home actually testify the luxury price that you're selling and people want to be associated with things that are good. All right. So as real estate agents, we need to be telling stories about the home. Don't just describe the features. You know what I mean? Real estate listings are pretty much just that fact based um, you know, objective listings about the home's features, how many bedrooms it has and how many windows the, the property actually has. But such listings, um, maybe you're talking about square footage, lot size, number of bedrooms, number of baths, etc. They only tell the prospective buyer nothing about the experience of actually living in that particular home. Remember, they're buying this home for their family. They're going to make it their forever home. It's not just about the lot size or the number of bedrooms. They need a story around that in order to convince themselves that this is the right you know, decision they're going to make for the rest of their life. So a story based listing, you know, that actually weaves a home's facts and figures um, into a story of romance. And, uh, you know, the listing would actually come alive because 
at the end of the day, it's no longer just a listing on realestate.com.au, but it's now a story that they can pass on either to their kids or to whoever to help them make that decision, um, you know, to, to purchase that property or to, um, yeah, invest in that property. So just don't write a listing, write a story about that home. You know what I mean? And if you can't do that on your own, hire a writer, you know, a picture may be worth a thousand words. Um, but today's internet is really powered by social media and is driven by content. All right. So, you know, a thousand words may not go um, you know, as far as you actually writing the content and the copy that, you know, strikes somebody's emotions or strikes somebody's uh, need for the certain, uh, you know, property that you're putting out there. So um, you might have the best pictures, the best Photoshop pictures, but those thousand words that are on that on that picture must actually tell a story that's engaging, something that's shareable to make your prospective home buyer curious enough to want to call you as the agent and set up an appointment and, and, and experience that home for themselves. You know what I mean? So, you know, as a real estate agent, think, um, Think about who the people you have around you that can help you with your photography, your video, and yet also help you with writing, um, you know, the copy that actually gets to people. Because if you write it on yourself, you would be thinking in your own terms. You need to see it in your pr pr your, your prospective buyer or seller or investor's eyes. And if you do it on your own, it's a huge mistake. You know what I mean? So if you hire a, a digital marketer or a copywriter, you know, you can take that maybe fact-based listing description that you might have and, and include those brand names that we talked about as well in the in inventory and actually tell a story about a home. We are, as humans, genetically modified to follow a story. We can never follow facts, all right? So if you hire a copywriter or if you hire a digital marketer or if you just comment at the bottom there, I can help you, um, you know, to actually make all those listings to start a pop. Plus, if you get a high a, a, a writer or a digital marketer, you know most of the time they're fairly in inexpensive uh, to hire as compared to what you will be, um, you know, earning as commissions for your property. So put one on the payroll, and you would actually start seeing a difference that it actually makes, um, you know, to the listings um, for your sales. Because once you start making a difference, your uh, properties pop, and you now stand out within your server. Always happy to help out. So just comment below and let me know what you might be going through that I might be able to help, um, especially with your marketing. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.